all, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty free YouTuber that does some makeup content and today, as usual on this little channel, I'm going to do a good read with me and I'm going to use my Natasha Denona Retro Palette just because this is an expensive palette, I really want to use this and uh, yeah. It looks like this, so I'm thinking of doing, yeah, I don't know, maybe like something with these colors. I don't know, I will just have to see what will come out of this. And today, when I'm recording this, it's um, almost the end of January. So I was thinking that I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, my no buy update. That is, I don't know. Okay, do you know what? I'm actually going to just put on my eyeshadow primer. Okay, so I don't know if I want to call it a no buy because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do like a whole year long no buy when it comes to makeup and beauty and uh, skincare. So I like to call it a low buy because it I don't have it much pressure on me then but this month uh, January I haven't bought anything and it's the last January tomorrow and I, I shouldn't fail <laughs> like okay I can film this today so the first month is yeah it's done and I was thinking of doing like duping videos on if it has been anything that I really wanted to buy this month, but um, I am uh, not going to do this. I'm not going to do that this month because I am too stressed and uh, it's not going to work. And also, I don't know when this video is coming up, I think next week. So the first week of February and I think I have put up a get read with me before this and I did edit that one today. And when I hear myself talk about how I'm feeling, it sounds worse than it is. So you don't have to worry about me. I am okay. I shouldn't go, I won't go that far to say that I'm fine, but I am okay. And uh, yeah, today is Sunday and it is the first day that I am filming this week. I haven't had the energy or the time to even put on makeup earlier this week, so yeah. it is what it is. So this is the first time filming this week and the last as well. I don't think I will do a video after this because yeah, it's late. So that was not what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about my... Yeah, so far no buy and it's going really good. I don't know if it is because I worked so much that I've done, so I don't have had any time to go out shopping or what it has been, but I haven't been. There isn't, there is nothing that I really, really wanted. Of course, it's things that I think that I would have bought if I didn't had a, trying to have an no-buy. But it's nothing that has been hard to resist. Maybe because I haven't looked at like new releases and I just try to stay out of it. And that is actually helping a lot. I still follow Trend Mood and other like indie makeup spotlight on Instagram, but I'm not feeling like I need something and usually when I'm trying to do no buys 
or low buys, it goes super great for me in the beginning. Like the first month is always the easiest for me. I don't know why, but that's just how I work. So it hasn't been hard. But like, yeah, it's one out of 12 months and uh, I haven't been eager to buy anything. I'm just like fearing when Kaleidos is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette, whenever that will be, because can I resist it? I don't know. And if Nabla does the same, can I resist it then? I don't know, I think that is going to be like the hardest brand for me to not buy anything from, but so far it hasn't been hard. I would love it now if like Nobla or Kaleidos is sneak peeking something on their Instagram tomorrow, just because I said what I just said and maybe jinx it. I hope not. One thing that I've noticed with this one. On my eye now I took this shade and I think it looks so much darker on me than it does in the pan. Like so much darker. I don't know if I swatch it. Yeah like th this is... This is insane. This is really hard for me to play with. Okay. And just because of that, I'm going in with a super, <laughs> a much more darker shade. But here we go. So, in my life, this no buy thing is going good. I have bought some clothes though, but I don't have a problem, I don't have a problem with shopping makeup, but like <laughs> it's more like I need new clothes than uh, new makeup. I bought some new jeans and that was because my old jeans did break and I have fixed them like two times so when they broke third time I was like okay maybe it's it's time for them to go. And I bought a new sweatshirt to have to work. So that is like what I have bought in clothing wise. And I think to make an order from Monkey with some other clothes. But I'm also thinking about trying to declutter my closet a little bit. But I haven't come that far. Oh, what happened here? I don't know. Okay, I think this is getting so much darker than I really wanted it to be, but... And another thing I don't... I think I've talked about this, that me and my boyfriend are going to try to take a dip in the ocean once a week this year. And now we are done with this month. We are taking it on Sundays and... We did take the little <laughs> swim in the ocean today and it's just good to have like one month done. So maybe we're going to succeed with taking the swim dip outside <laughs> the ocean at least once a week this whole year. I really hope so, but I don't know. Another thing that I've done this weekend. I did take like a deep clean in the kitchen and it feels great like you know taking all the cabinets and throwing out old stuff and on our fridge it has been so much things so I went through all the things on the fridge and it just feels so good. I know that if I have my home <laughs> under control when I'm feeling stressed, I feel much better. But it's just like I need to have the power and energy to do it. 
this weekend I have actually done it and it feels so so good and as you may know I really 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 want to move out of this apartment and buy a house and that is one part of me having a try to not to shop that much having a low buy no buy to be able to save more money it's not that I hate this apartment yeah a little bit but it's it's uh, kind of small I would love to have like a room like a beauty room where I can film and stuff and just to have more space when we moved into this apartment like 10 years ago um, I didn't work full time at my work and we didn't have that much stuff I didn't have YouTube so then it did fit us better and also we were younger and it feels like the younger you are the smaller you can live I know when we moved in together or I moved into my boyfriend's apartment we live in one okay this is going to be wrong but we did live in a one room apartment and in Sweden like we live in Sweden this is called a two rooms apartment but I think in US it's one bedroom so we have one bedroom one kitchen one living room and one toilet and in Sweden there is an apartment with two rooms but I think in the US it's a one bedroom apartment but our old apartment was just one room one room that was living room and uh, bedroom in the same, a kitchen and the toilet and that was okay to live there at first but then we were like no we want to live bigger so we moved to this one and this felt super big when we moved in and now maybe not and okay I was talking about how this was going for me not shopping things and now I'm talking about our apartment and our old apartment don't know how we got here okay so I don't I don't know what I feel about this palette because I do like this look is it something super amazing and special no do I think the colors are a little bit off when you compare it to what's in here yes because I've used this one this one and this one and I think this one and this one is true to pan but this one is not I think I need to like watch a video where some Somebody else is using this to see how the shadows look on them, but like this, this isn't. Maybe I can show. This isn't the same. No. No. But maybe if I just get used to it, maybe I think it's good. I don't know. But for right now, it's, it's bothering me just a tiny bit. Okay, I think I will fix my face off cam yeah I will do that so I will come back because I don't know what more I have to talk about and I am okay I'm sick and tired to apologize for myself for making boring videos uh, because it feels like that but at the same time yeah, yeah I don't know you still seem to like my videos so that is good and I know that it's not fun to hear somebody to like complain about themselves all, all the time. I know that. So I'm just going to shut my mouth, do my base makeup and then I'll come back with maybe if I come up with something more to say about my low buy and yeah. I will think about it while I'm doing my base makeup and we will see if I get somewhere about something so this is the finished look and maybe you want to know what I used on my cheeks or do you want to know that I used ombre as my contour independence on my 
as blush and also as highlighter and yes all are from Nabla this is like the holy trinity here at home and on my white line I used Honey Dude from Colourpop and on my lips I did use Mellow Mauve from LH Cosmetics and okay this is the first second time <laughs> I'm using the Natasha Denona Retro Palette and I haven't used any of the colors twice so yeah I think some of the mattes is this a second impression of a palette? No, this was to get rid of me talking about the no buy, but it's turning out something else. Um, my second impression of the palette. The mattes are darker on me than they are in the pan. Uh, the shimmers are amazing. This Jude that I used, it's so easy to just, it feels like it can go on forever. So I... Do I think it's worth all the money? No. Do I think it's a bad palette? No. And okay, <laughs> I guess that is all for this video. I am going to try to just struggle through this couple of weeks at work that is going to be a little bit harder and it's in the middle of March. I am back to my somewhat normal schedule again at work and I feel and hope and pray that things will be better but for right now this is what it is this is this is my life right now uh, but also to say I am okay you do not need to worry about me I have uh, this somewhat under control and as well I things are going better now than it did like the first two weeks because I'm learning to do things. Okay, it's a whole nother story what's going on in my work. It's it's not the best, it's not optimal. Um but it's it's workable. Maybe I should say it like that. It's <laughs> workable. But my YouTube channel is going to suffer a bit from this and um, I was so stoked about this new year start uh, trying to have an no-buy and was like yeah fuck yeah I'm going to do this and I don't know <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying I do hope you like this video I will see how many videos it will be during the weeks if I have the energy or if I feel to film I'm going to film if I don't feel for it I'm not going to film but yeah I hope you like this video whatever it turned out to be and I stop need to stop trying to defend myself this is what you get when you watch my videos okay but i hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do and i hope i'll see you in the next one bye